My name is Drew Gardner and I'm here today to recreate a portrait of social reformer and abolitionist Frederick Douglass with his direct descendant, Kenneth B. Morris Jr. The wig and facial hair was expertly made from scratch months before the shoot. The facial hair was attached with special glue. As Ken was in makeup, he made a startling revelation. She said that it was so close to the dead mask. She said the only difference really was his nose was bigger and his ears were bigger, but she said, you know, that's aging. You know, that happens when you age. But she said it was really, really close. So Ken's head and facial dimensions are very close to those of his forebear. Just to mimic it, but I just by on the floor here to emphasize. I had a special large format print made to mimic the spiraled carpet in the original photo. After some research, I found a fabric which was similar to the original. I picked up this old cookery book from a second-hand store. Transformed with hair, makeup and costume, Ken moves into position on the set. If you could try and come lift your butt up a little Detailed bit. direction of Ken helps get the pose just right. It was important to make sure that Ken was happy with all of the details. It's just still a bit more. It's every percentage point you can get. Okay. Okay. 